All right, welcome to the community calendar. It's our virtual version of the community calendar. And we have Carrie Johnston here from the chamber, <laughs> from home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so Carrie, now you guys are business as usual at the chamber, right? We really are. I mean, we're closed. Um, the, with the governor shutdown, we were uh, deemed as a non-essential organization, but that means we just get to work from home. So um, the chamber is open just in a different way. Um, we do have uh, staff available and you can you know, reach us through emails, probably the easiest in this day and age to reach almost anyone, uh, but you can call the chamber office and leave us a message. We'll get back to you. But if you've got anything we can help with, um, we're there not only for our members, but for anybody in the community needing some connects and some helps and information. What kind of um, resources can you give people? You know, I've, I get, receive your e-blasts from the chamber and you have a bunch of links and resources. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those? Sure. We've been trying to absorb as much information as we can, especially from the state, the federal government, the lenders. You know, what is out there? Where do you even turn and what's good information versus, you know, we got a lot of emails, all of us, especially business owners and, and those that work in the industry of, you know, what do you believe? What's what's reliable? So we try to be that clearinghouse and really work with um, getting that good information. So if we work with the Minnesota Chamber, with the state government, with um, local lenders and our other fellow members. If we don't know the answer, we'll ask around and make sure we get the right information. So we try to be that resource for people to know uh, where they can find that good information and then where do you start when you're you know maybe a sole proprietor or have just a few employees? How do you start on um, maybe that was the shutdown that's, that uh, affected you, but then it's also going to be that restart. How do you get back in the community and make sure you're doing things right? Okay, and um, you know, you, I see you've got like a mental health crisis line resource. Um, you know, what, what is available with some other things that are available for, for businesses? Yeah, you know, the beauty of local and Detroit Lakes and the Detroit Lakes region is we have a lot of people just really concerned about what our community needs. How can we all help each other out? How can we make sure that we're fulfilling those needs of the community? So I'm actually uh, uh, privileged to be a part of a group that's meeting three times a week really to discuss that. We've got the healthcare authorities, city, county leaders, you name it. We've got about 40 people on that call three times a week, really concerned with what's going on. So when you start talking things like um, personal protective equipment, the PPEs, what do we need here in Detroit Lakes, here in Becker County? Let's make sure we're focusing on that. It's easy to get overwhelmed with so much state and federal information, but what really matters to us is right here. Um, and then maybe it's uh, face masks. Who needs what? What do we need to be thinking about? Can we do, be doing the handmade ones? Can we be using what Lake Shirts is doing? So it's really just sharing that great information. And, and then I get the, the beauty of being able to pass that down to members. I've had a couple of members that have struggled to find uh, maybe a resource here in the community. And hopefully I can be able to connect them up with um, things like hand sanitizers or masks or you know all of those things as we're preparing. It's been a hard couple of weeks so far. And I think we've got a long road to go, but we can all work together. I think that's the big theme. Um, and Detroit Lakes is good about that. We're, we're used to working together. We've got a lot of small businesses that depend on us to get that drive through service for have a little extra lunch out. Uh, maybe buy some gift cards from your favorite retailer now so that you make sure you're supporting our neighbors. That's right, because there are a lot of businesses that are that are still open, correct? Right. And offering great services. You know, you can do um, curbside service. If you need something from the hardware, they'll just bring it right out to you. I think if you can just ask, they're willing to help in any way. Of course, they they want to be able to um, support the business and keep their employees working, but they also just want to be able to help you get what you need and make sure that you're feeling safe. Now, you had some really great events that were going to be happening <laughs> right almost up to the to the shutdown. So what will, what were you, what will you be doing um, with those events that are not happening anymore? Yeah. Like most events, all events in the community, we are postponing um, what we had. So our economic development summit, our safety speaker, which, you know, apropos, just is exactly what we're talking about is 
being prepared for a pandemic or uh, a crisis in our community, uh, we'll be rescheduling those for the fall. So we're looking for fall dates and locations. And so we haven't set those yet, but we are planning to reschedule on those. Um, we're waiting and seeing on a few of our summer events. What are they going to look like? What do they transform to? Or do they need to be postponed or changed up? So um, some of it's yet to be determined, but our April and May events have all been changed. And that includes our women's speaker series. We had our women's edge. We had one speaker in March. And now um, our May speaker we have postponed. She'll be in actually November. So if you have tickets to our Women's Edge, which we have quite a few tickets out in the community, those have changed, but we still plan to have our speaker series. Perfect. All right. And is there anything else you want to tell people, um, encourage people or businesses, anything? It's the, sure. the stage is yours. Shop local. I mean, what more? Support local, shop local. Um, everybody that is in the community can all help by just making sure we're supporting, um, even if it's in that little bit, if it's a $10 for an extra lunch, um, buying lunch for somebody, making sure that you're just out doing a little extra shopping or support. I think that's the big thing. You know, maybe dig through those birthday cards. Do you have some chamber bucks sitting out there that you can go spend? Go get that money circulating in the community. Make sure that we are really supporting our local businesses and, and just call them up. Sometimes it's as easy as just say, I'm thinking about you. Uh, what, what's your plan for reopen? What can I get for services now? And what can I get for future? I think they want to hear from their customers and, and appreciate your thoughts too. Perfect. And can you still get chamber box? You can. You can call the chamber office or again, email me. We'll arrange for a pickup time that you can just do a, a, a curbside pickup of our own. So just give me a call. We'd love to get you some chamber box and get you spending local. Perfect. Carrie, I appreciate you um, doing this tonight. Uh, we're recording this in the <laughs> evening because I'm at home during the day with my kids. And so thank you for being on our community calendar, our virtual community calendar. And uh, you take care and stay safe. Thank you. Thanks for keeping everyone informed.